I get this question a lot, whether it is in the comment section or through my clients and DM coaching. I am doing all the manifestation and all of a sudden I am seeing from no movement, opposite results, opposite results. I'm freaking out. I'm getting triggered by the 3D. What should I do? What should I do? I'm trying to persist, but what should I do? What should I do? It's a constant question. And in this video, I'm going to finally answer this question in a very simple way on what you should do when you're seeing opposite circumstances you don't want to give up you're manifesting but your mirror is simply not responding to your affirmations or visualizations or whatever it is that you're using it is very simple and i'm going to cover it for you on this video hello everyone i am Neya, and on this channel we talk about esotericism quantum physics in relation to manifestation manifestation and so much more but before i get started with today's topic i really need to do a quick announcement please don't skip the announcement as is very important and especially if you are one of my previous customer on my patreon or also on my etsy shop i'm going to be brief i am closing down my etsy shop so this is the last month that you can purchase e-courses meditation or anything listed on my etsy shop by the way everything is written in the description box down below this is the last month that i'm going to remain open just to finish my clients and then by 2023 or even next month my Etsy shop will be officially closed for everyone now what happens is a new beginning now for the people who are who have already purchased e-courses for me nothing will happen for you because your special link will still work so you don't have to worry about a thing for people who want a private reading for me private read tarot reading manifestation coaching the links uh, not the links the uh, explanation are down below on how to book a session with me so no panic just read everything carefully and for those of you guys who are interested in learning from me through the modality of e-courses I actually opened a new membership on my patreon this membership is a level up from the original membership that we now have which are weekly videos and extra videos about manifestation challenges esoteric topic and so on and so forth the level up is a membership where you will get all my e-courses including the webinar behind the law of assumption manifesting a specific person all my italian e-courses and the meditation and if you remain subscribed to the membership you will also get future e-courses in the same price as well as weekly videos because you will have access to the weekly videos as well a private community and uh, additional master classes and meditation that i am planning to post throughout 2023 so so if you want to purchase in a bundle all my e-courses and extra content i highly suggest you to subscribe to my new membership on my patreon yet again all the informations are found down below and after this month coaching instead will be sold out and i will only offer tarot coaching reading okay with that out of the way let's get started with today's video what to do when you're seeing opposite results and when simply reality it's not working in the way that you want perhaps you're even new to manifestation and you simply don't like your reality you don't like your job you don't like your friends you don't like the way reality is responding to you what is the solution many people out there will just say well just affirm affirm create slides and visualization and manifest a better reality that is 100 percent true and i'm not telling you to do so however during the process of manifestation you are going to sometimes encounter some resistance some difficulties and so what to do when you just get triggered by the mirror and you simply don't like what reality is showing to you for me the only true practical solution is to turn away from the mirror there is really no way around it what does it mean to turn away from the mirror i want to explain this concept if you guys are new reality as we know it therefore the 3d is a mirror reflection of our consciousness why because of the first hermetic principle or the first law of the universe which is mentalism everything is mine everything is consciousness everything is a reflection of the mind if you want to know more about the seven laws of the universe, watch my video entitled The Seven Laws of the Universe and How to Become uh, the Master of Your Reality. 
Now, because reality is a mirror of our state of consciousness and through also the understanding a little bit of quantum physics, we know through the observer effect. So everything that we observe collapses the quantum wave function, collapses reality. And this is very like not well explained in quantum physics. So if you are a physicist, please uh, like don't judge me, but it's very, very simple. Uh, simply put, let's put it this way, because obviously in quantum physics, everything happened on a quantum level but in my opinion it does explain manifestation very well that's why i did a webinar about it anyway whatever we observe collapses the quantum wave of possibilities whatever we observe creates manifest attracts whatever it is the terminology you prefer reality why because again everything is mine and being reality a mirror is a mirror reflection of what we hold in terms of thoughts within our mind so by understanding this very very simple theory we can understand therefore that not only our thoughts create our own reality but our focused attention therefore whatever we focused upon makes reality persisting it makes reality the way that it is so when the 3d is giving you something you don't like you get triggered to and i will give example in a second you if you keep focusing on the mirror you keep looking on the mirror nothing is going to change and potentially you're actually going to manifest even more unwanted circumstances because even subconsciously your focus is on the mirror you need to stop staring at that reality go a little bit delusional and turn your back turn away completely from the mirror i talked heavily about this in my video make the impossible possible through uh the story of steve jobs how he did it, how he was a good manifester, and all his techniques. So that video is available on my channel. Highly suggest you for you to watch it. Anyway, we turn our eyes through the mirror. How do we do it? We have to distract ourselves with other things. Now, the other things you could distract yourself with are multiple, and that's the fun of manifestation. So let's say, let's give practical example specific person my specific person is not acting behaving or doing what i want them or intend them to do um it's pointless for me to interact with that version of my specific person in the present moment so if i can even avoid contact text interaction trying to force or change through my inner intention this um this person will be better because the version of your sp that you want lives completely in a different quantum reality so you're not interacting with the highest version of them or the version that you are holding in your mind you're simply not not in the moment in the present moment so the the easiest way will be to completely pull back not even interacting with a specific person in the present circumstances because the specific person that we're talking about it's not conforming or behaving in the way that you want right now so what you should do instead is to live more in the wishful field which you can do in multiple ways you turn yourself you turn your back to the 3d you turn your back from the mirror and either you start affirming or if affirming for the specific person in this very example is too triggering because your mind keeps saying but i don't see it i don't see it go general so in order to create a vibrational state that is a little bit more neutral don't worry about the word vibrational just go a little bit general don't push don't force yourself to affirm something that is not making you feel good so i'm not saying not to affirm specifically but trust me on this one go more general so initially you turn your back i want to be very very precise so we turn our back from the mirror because we don't care that reality it's not of our interest and keep focusing on that reality is not going to do anything good to us nothing at all so stick that into your head you don't see movement you see an unwanted you want to talk about circumstances don't don't watch manifestation videos then we need to turn ourselves away from the mirror first step second step we feel so angry maybe we feel so triggered about sp or whatever it is that we're trying to manifest it is pointless for us in that very moment when we are angry to go directly and affirm oh he loves me he adores me he's doing exactly what I, what i want him to do or what i want them to do it's kind of pointless to do it in that space because your brain logically will just go no it's not 
So don't do that. Make it easier. Make it effortless. Instead of doing that, if you don't feel ready, go more general. So that's the time to affirm a little bit for self-concept. That is the time to change yourself, to pull the energy back to you, to focus on self a little bit more, to affirm like the law always works for me. All the affirmation that I even posted on my YouTube channel, you can listen to them every day. My world takes care of me. I cannot be divided from my love. Therefore, I cannot be divided by my specific person when you feel slightly better and this could take for instance one day five minutes ten minutes half an hour couple of months that will depend on you guys so I cannot predict how much it's going to take you just to feel a little bit better when you feel a little bit better for me it just takes a couple of minutes so after I do my general affirmation for a couple of minutes I decide to go more specific after again I turn my back from the 3d and from the mirror and the way I go more specific in my specific case I create slides how Vadim Zeeland will put it I create daydreams slash visualization so and this is me hold on a minute so uh, I go out and I walk in a certain way while I'm listening to music and I allow visualization to come naturally to me where I, I see myself either with my specific person and conforming in the way that I want or I see myself with a specific amount of money or whatever it is that I'm trying to manifest. Now, if you have aphantasia, if for you visualization is very straining, you don't like it, don't. Go specific then with your affirmation. Take a walk again around the park or when you're washing the dishes. When you are in states of any type of drowsy state or relaxation, you can add three or four, I will say, if you want to do more, do more, but I would suggest three or four specific affirmation to mix with the general ones. And that's it. And yet again, keep turning and turning and turning away your sight, your focus to uh, the 3D through the mirror, because that is what messes things up. When you guys are like, you're manifesting, you're manifesting, you're manifesting, you're seeing opposite results, you freak out and you keep staring at the mirror. That guy, this is a lifestyle. You need to turn your back. Now, Vadim Zeeland in Reality Transfer Fiend says something very interesting about the mirror. You can read it. I'm not a Reality Transfer Fiend coach and I don't even agree with everything, but this one is very interesting. So I'm going to mention for the purpose of the video there are two choices that you can do when it comes down to the mirror you can either turn your back and ignore which would be the suggestible route to take or if you're capable another efficient way to change the mirror will be to laugh at it now, this is very counterintuitive and not many people can do it. But basically, when you have an unwanted circumstance and you don't react to it emotionally, but you laugh at it, you're like create a completely outrageous opposite reaction. So you get, you get something that will trigger you pain, suffering, depression, or whatever it is. And instead of reacting badly, you laugh at it. And, and, and this is very hard to do. That's why it's a weird... Um, method to use but I tried it and I know it works then that circumstance fades away because you're bringing a different focused attention a different emotion and thoughts to that circumstance that would have uh, otherwise create a trigger in you. Now, I don't suggest this particular method because I feel that the majority of people are not able to do this. They're not able to laugh at an expensive bill. They're not able to laugh at their specific person leaving them. It, it's hard. I don't, I don't think this is an easy one. So it's a reality transurfing technique. It works 100%. You can try it, but at, a, at your own you know, risk and emotional state because it, it is not the easiest, in my opinion, to apply. But again, I did it. And it works all the time. Now, if you practice turning away from the mirror, and if you practice pulling the energy away, focusing on self, and really being a little bit more delusional, which I will make a future video about when it comes down to your manifestation, you will surf, you will ride the wave of your success, the wave of your manifestation and reality so smoothly because reality is focused oriented. So whatever you focus upon persists. There is no way around it this is the law and is this 
easy you guys you have to turn your back it's pointless that you talk about the circumstances it's pointless that you say there is no movement it's pointless for you to stare at the mirror even like i will even arrive to say the suggest that i even will suggest that staring too much at the mirror even when things are going good is not something that i will do i never stare too much at the mirror i'm always creating slides i'm always more in my imagination than i am in the mirror that doesn't mean that i'm not grounded i am very grounded i'm very grateful and able to see what is going on in my 3d reality but i know that my imagination affirmation thoughts are the source of creation therefore i live more in my imagination than i live in the mirror because the moment that i stare too much in the mirror any sorts of things could happen because i am persisting in something without paying attention to my thought which is not mental rigid diet it's not about that but it's about living more in the person that you want to be or you want to express to be so the mirror can reflect that back to you so let's give another example uh let's give the example of money i want money i am not going to stare all the time every five minutes at my bank account even though my bank account is pretty good right now but even when it wasn't that good i was checking my account every two days or every day because if i am wealthy i'm not afraid of checking my bank account so i was checking my bank account and making responsible choices however i will trigger my brain to believe that in my bank account or even to affirm when I wasn't believing that in my bank account there was way more money than what it's said to be and so I lived more imagination and I turned my back uh, away from the mirror which eventually manifested a type of lifestyle I'm able to sustain right now and I do this again with imagination slides and a couple of affirmation here and there you can just do this with affirmation and that will be fine too that will depend on you but the thing is don't react try to step away from the mirror live more in the imaginative state and guys it's pointless that you complain about this this is the way to go is i want to repeat because repetition does imprint in the sense uh, you know this knowledge turn the freak away from the mirror even now like i said that i have a good amount of money i don't stare too much at the mirror i'm constantly visualizing that i have more money than i actually have i make myself and for instance wealth is described by people in different ways so your version of feeling wealthy is different from my version of feeling wealthy do you know when i feel wealthy i feel wealthy through minimalism when i don't spend a lot of money when i have my home all tidy and clean and i'm minimalistic when i my wardrobe is completely ordered and i don't clutter it with clothes that's when i feel wealthy and because when i act in this way and i think in this way that generates more income for me because uh, that's my assumption i assume that when i am minimalistic i'm even thinking of the environment my my space around me is not cluttered with objects i'm not spending in things that i don't need i feel wealthy i feel in control i am thinking as a wealthy person i know that every time i want i can spend money but i don't have to it if i don't want to this for me has created the perfect assumption to generate wealth i can change that anytime i want by the way I can change this anytime I want, but this has been my, my cause, my decision to adopt a more minimalistic lifestyle. You do you because this is your reality okay so i hope this video makes sense every single time you see unwanted circumstances please turn yourself away from the mirror and pull the energy back that will do the trick 99 percent of the time because it's all about what you're holding as a state of consciousness again you can do this with affirmation slides visualization daydream scripting or just simply by giving up and dropping importance and doing and going on about your life turning you say i don't care turning your back from the mirror that also works and i recently heard someone saying that if you let go and give up you're gonna take years to manifest what you want bullshit sorry to expect bs sorry to expression that is absolutely not true majority of the time that i let go and i simply say you know what if i get it fine if i don't i don't care i get it the next day so whoever has said this like i don't like 
what? That's not true. For many people, dropping the resistance and dropping the importance is the last thing that they gotta do in order to manifest fast. Try a, uh, try a couple of methods, see what works for you, carve your own method, but the core aspect is turning yourself away from the mirror, focusing somewhere where you want to go, keeping that focus in whatever shape or form by letting go, giving up, by affirming, by visualizing. You choose the modality. I don't care about the modality. You choose the modality. You keep persisting in that modality. Turn your back on the mirror and you will manifest trust me on this one okay you guys i hope this video is very clear if you want more additional content again everything is listed down on my patreon and this last month is last coaching and last purchases on my etsy shop i'll see you on patreon today for an extra video as well as extra content bye guys and see you soon also on this channel bye